Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Frostmage journey. I have arrived at Felwood and we are uh, continuing a couple of difficult quests for starters. We're going to go into Dowsing the Flames, which requires us to go um, into a cave building uh, of sorts. And uh, by now, you know that that is trouble big trouble. I think we're confident. Uh, got the spirit of Zelandar buff and my own food buff. So it should be okay going in. So join me when we're now dowsing for flames. Uh, Shrine of the Deceiver. Well, it's going to be difficult. Lots of people die here. We don't want to be one of them. So careful. We must be as um, Yoda was saying. Side that. Another mana burn, which again, side. We don't have counter spell at the moment. Third mana burn, line of sighted. And it's down. frost spells well that's a good start isn't it uh, started with uh, fighting three at once in a non-careful pull uh, we better do not do that when we're inside okay that's a bit of a pre-taste of what's going to come let's go chugging an elixir of arcane might so that we are hitting harder than ever and it gets counterspelled and just look at that Almost three tap that guy. The good part about uh, casters is they don't have a lot of hit points, so you can just get them down rather fast. These guys, on the other hand, are the exact opposite. They have a lot of hit points and shield bash, so both together can be a scary combination. And you can already see this place, it's easy to get uh, not only lost in here, but also get overrun. We don't want to fall down. Uh, we want to clear this out nice and slow. Oh, that's not line of sight. Well, let's start with the cultist. He will eventually aggro as... Uh, mm. will be a lot of triple pulls. Luckily for us, I'm used to it by now. So just gotta play it safe. Counter spelling again and we're good. Potentially shouldn't loot. Is that the first place that we need to extinguish? Dows the Moonwell. Don't tell me I just randomly cleared this room and there isn't even anything in here. Sheesh, Saiken, what are you doing? Well, at least we got a place, kind of a last stand place. Uh, we're going to level up very soon. Let's 
So that'll be a free um, a free refill of mana. This here looks like the flame that we need to douse. Getting fire shield up. We can just go through this guy. Not even a problem. Isn't that what I'm supposed to douse? Apparently not. Alright, leveled up. Continuing to go deeper into Arcane. And let's clear out uh, the rest of this layer. Alright, one down. From here on onward, I think I'll just not loot the guys for now. And we'll do that on our way out. Ah, uh, he says that and automatically clicks on a corpse. <laughs> Very much looks like a flame to die. I need to stop clicking. It's, it's an ingrained habit. Okay, so hold on for a second. Are you telling me I cannot douse this flame? Normally things are clickable, right? Right. Use the purified uh, moon water well, douse the flames in the four braziers of protection, then return. Out of range. I don't think that I'm out of range. Um, okay. Let me read it up. Okay, the flames indeed look a little bit different. They are actual braziers, not stones. The stones look deceptively like flames, but they are not. All right, moving on. By the way, the cultists don't even know what hit them. Yeah, I'm not going to let anyone remain in uh, this place. Or are you telling me that, that this is completely wrong cave and I'm just going in here for no apparent reason? That would suck, man. cave. <laughs> Went into the wrong cave. Oh lord. All right. Fast forwarding until I find the right cave. All right. Attempt number two. <coughs> this time we're in the right cave. Very similar layout though. The idea is very much the same, we're working more carefully. As much of this dungeon doesn't really offer us, or this cave doesn't really offer us a, a whole lot of wiggling room. Good, got 
to hate the enforcers in very close uh, quarters, specifically staircases. Uh, we got Warlocks, Summon Imp, uh, Shadow Bolt, Unholy Frenzy. Uh, that means double pulls all the way. Funnily enough, they haven't been very deadly, but their average victim is level 55, so people are attempting this quest a little bit later. They're dealing a lot of damage. Certainly doesn't help with him. Uh, deals damage as well. But if I kill him, he'll just get resummoned. So oh, that would be a waste of time. Yeah. Reminder to ourselves: these guys need to die first. Just way too much damage. And also reminder to myself: we want damp magic in here. itself is not the problem, I don't think it's not a problem at all, I think. Yeah, barely an inconvenience. I'll wait until counter spell and I think we're in the right cave actually. Fantastic. Now we have demons on top of uh, that. So that'll be a CC for the warlock. Kill both of the demons, then kill the warlock and hope that he does not uh, resummon his stupid imp. All right, I get a better appreciation. This is uh, the number one deadliest uh, being in Felwood. Unless you're a warlock, you can't crowd control uh, these guys. And they do have armor cut, which of course interrupts spells. So once they are on you, it'll be less fun. I'm okay with one shadow ball. Alright, so. That was still okay. I think what's not going to be okay is when we're getting additional uh, ads here. So we got to be really, really careful, man. There's the first brazer. I just want to clear this as fast as possible. <laughs> Using passing a little bit. Good, first brazer here. Question is, I think there is no brazer over there, so we should be fine. Let this one go through.
Oh no, okay, that's not even the way. Uh, it's just a quest mob. Okay, next brazier there, double caster, that's going to be rough. And both of them do not have fire as their spec, so the only way to really deal with them is counter spell, not fire shield. Good, but if they are just running in, then that is easy. Counter spell. What does the key do? Currently begins a quest. Strange rent. Uh, search through Jedanara to discover what blood uh, rent tea is used for. If I take a wild guess, it is used uh, over here. I don't want to yet do a escort crest. Yeah, that's an escort. I'll just take the 5k at the, at the moment and we might arrest, uh, escort you out afterwards. For now. Sighting them. Let's kill the annoying imp. Okay, we don't want to fall down. Trying to cut out the drinking time as much as possible. <clears throat> Sorry for that finger there. Alright, so. Down here we get the last two razors. I also took uh, the opportunity to read up on uh, the escort quest. It seems to be relatively easy. You just need to kill those three demons. One of which we have, by the way, already killed. Anyways, 
So far, this cave here seems much easier than uh, the one that we uh, that we had beforehand because there are no triple pulls. Good last room with razors. remember what's in the back of the room. So I don't think that it was anything good. So I want to go there. And then we should be done. are down and we're good. Okay, one more brazier after that. And it is interesting because the cave seems to be going even further up here. Alright, last enemy and then we're done here. I reconsidered on the escort quest, I'm not sure if I want to do it, possibly you need to get all the way out uh, from here. I think what I'd rather do is pour to Ogrimmar, uh, get the level 54 spells and call it a day. Good, yeah, we're going to do that. Alrighty, so unfortunately I lost a little bit of footage and that means we are going to keep today's episode a little bit shorter because the sunken temple group actually bonded together and uh, got a run going and that is going to happen in the next episode. For now I say thank you for today's episode. Let me just run you uh, through what else uh, we basically did um, afterwards and that's uh, the lost uh, footage. Uh, footage. We went uh, through uh, the rest of uh, Fellwood, grinded a little bit down here and uh, ended up doing the lead quest all by myself. So Felwood is fully quested. Now, next episode, we're going to take a look at Sunken Temple and whatever lies beyond Sunken Temple right afterwards. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.